fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. the first railroad into the western United States faced many dangers and hardships. And without the help of the masked rider of the plains, they might never have completed their great task. It was his strength and courage and his knowledge of the country that blazed the trail for progress and made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger... Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the railroad! There's going to be trouble! Oh, Silver, away! Get along, you ornery pack mule! You can't build a railroad without you got supplies. Come, Sonia, Harvey, don't kick them quitters. You want that blasting powder to blow us to kick them come? Come on, get along there, you lazy quitters. Get along. Get along, I say. In the rugged country at the base of the Sierras, two packers led a string of mules down a steep, narrow Indian trail on the way to the railroad. On a nearby clifftop, their hats shading their eyes against the lowering sun... Two men drew a bead along the sights of their rifles. They aimed at the pack mules, the muzzles of the guns swinging slowly as the mules went past. How soon are we going to shoot, Kirby? Soon. My trigger finger's itching to let go. Keep swinging with the lead mule. Aim for the pack. I got him dead eye. Now, don't miss. I'll do likewise for the third mule. If we get it right, that blasting powder ought to go off hard enough to bust them wide open. Well, why don't we kill off them two mule skinners? Ace don't care about them. Yeah, but we... You got dust in your ears? I tell you, Ace, don't care about them. Now, use your brains, Buck. We shoot them hombres. What happens? Huh? Nothing happens. There's two men dead, and the mules go stampeding down the trail. But if we hit the powder, it goes off, and the blast will tear that trail to ribbons. Oh, you mean the trail won't be no good no more? Yeah, the trail won't be good enough for a ten-legged antelope. And being as how that's the shortest trail, it's going to slow the railroad up a plenty. That lead mule's near the bend, Kirby. Uh, There's time yet. If the railroad can't use this trail to bring up supplies, they'll have to go back to bring it up on the trains themselves, Savvy. You see what that means? Oh, Ace figures to raid the trains again, eh? Sure. Either way, we got them stopped. Only if they use the trains again, we can do more damage. Yeah. How soon now, Kirby? The mules are getting closer all the time. Now? Not till I give you the word. They'll be closest when they get to the bend. A little time yet. No sense in shooting long when you can get a close-up shot. A couple of seconds now. Yeah, we'll pour it in as fast as these rifles can throw bullets. It'll be any... What? What's that? Ambush! Look out! And shoot! They're warning the mule train. It's an engine and a mass man. Shoot, you fool! Shoot! 
Kirby, they're riding at us. Ah, they whipped up their mules. They got past the band. Kirby, the masked man, they're riding for us. Keep your gun, keep your sandy. Fire at the gun, Tuttle. Don't shoot, mister. Don't shoot. Drop that gun, Fred. Sure, sure, don't shoot. I'm not dropping it. Take his revolver, Tuttle. Clear that whole thing. Ah, Tuttle, do it. Oh, I ain't got no feeling in my hands. My hands is... You're not hurt. Stop it. You shot me. I won't hit your gun. You're not hurt. You were going to ambush the mule train, huh? We get here just in time, Kimasabi. Who are you? What business is it of yours? We are making it our business. Those mules were carrying blasting powder for the new railroad. You'd have killed two men as well as the mules. What are your horses? For what? Where are they? Now, look, mister. You're heading for jail and we're taking you. Jail? You're loco. Mister, you're wearing a mask. You couldn't get near the jailhouse. You'd be run out of town. Not this time. It'll be dark by the time we get there. Dark enough to ride through town without being noticed. You might as well save yourselves trouble and point out where you hid your horses. Well... They're in the Arroyo back yonder. But if you think any jail is going to hold Buck and We'll you get got... you there first. Start traveling. Who's there? Open up here. You got business for the jail? Two customers. Be right there, mister. Sure beats everything how much jail you need in a railroad town. It's all this rip and roll all day long. And gambling. Yeah, I wish I knew enough to stay away from gambling. Keep the door locked, count it safer that way. This the railroad jail? Yep. Call it Rails End Jail. Moves out with a track. I have two men who try to ambush the mule train. Huh? The one bringing blasting powder? Mister, bring him in. All right, Tonto. Bring Kirby and Buck in here. You come, Tonto. Kirby and Buck, huh? You know them? Mister, I sure do. They're ornery as a hungry buzzard. Well, this way, Kirby. They got a good sell for them. Now, listen, Gordon, you can't lock us up. Bug your can... mouth, Kirby. Sure, I'll put them in a good cell, mister. The one and only cell we got. Just take him. In... Well, anything wrong? I didn't notice it before. You, you're masked. Sure, he's masked. You ain't tossing us to know who's gone on the word of a masked hombre ain't even seen before. You stay. Gordon. You know these men by reputation. It ain't good, mister. That mule train will be here in the morning. You'll keep them in jail overnight. If necessary, Tonto here will swear to a charge against no, them. Oh, we won't need to go through that, mister. I reckon cooling off overnight won't do these hombres no harm. They're plenty used to it. All right, shove them in. Inside, Kirby. Buck, get in there. Look at here, you can't... Inside. Put... Lock it, Gordon. And be careful. They're killers. You don't have to worry now, mister. They're in for keeps. We go now, Kimasabi. Anything wrong, Tyler? Him? Good man? Gordon? Huh. I think he is, although there's something about him. Quiet, here he comes. You leaving, mister? Tyler and I are going, Gordon. Well, you've done the railroad a service, mister. You can cut a notch on that. Adios. If there should be any trouble, we'll be back. Yeah, but how are you going to know if there's any trouble, if there's no way to get to you? If there's trouble, we'll know. Uh, that's right. We know. We come back. Let's get the horses, Tyler. Uh, here, Scout. Here, Silver. Steady, boy. Yep. I'll Silver! Hooray! Hmm. A masked man and an engine. And a horse named Silver. Seems there's something mighty familiar about that setup. Seems like I ought to know who that masked man is. Hey, Gordon. Close that door and come here. What's ailing you, Kirby? Yeah, let us out of this who's <laughs> You ain't got a snowball's chance in a brand iron, Kirby. <laughs> no? Well, the way Ace Murdoch hears about me and Buck being in jail. Ace Murdoch. What about Ace? Yeah, I figured that would bother you. Just wait till Ace hears we're in jail. <laughs> Hey, I hear that Kirby and Buck are in the lockup. Let me have that again, Daisy. Kirby and Buck are in jail. Gordon's got them under lock and... That's enough, I understand. I figured you'd want to know. That's enough, I understand, Daisy. Kirby and Buck in jail. And Gordon is a jailer. He's got a nerve. Gordon can't... Enough, Daisy. Here he is. Beats me how you can be so cool about it. My business is gambling, Daisy. A gambler has to keep cool all the time. Something went sour with that mule train ambush? Naturally, what else? But Ace, you gotta get busy. You hired Kirby and Buck to do that ambush. If they got caught, dry gulch in the mule train, they'll shoot out their mouths about you. You, uh, think I should stack the cards, Daisy? They're stacked against you now, Ace. 
A railroad would give plenty to put you behind bars. Enough, Daisy. I understand. Yeah? Yeah. Send one of the boys over to the jail. Have him tell Gordon I want to see him out in the back of the railroad shack in an hour. Have him tell Gordon? It makes you think Gordon will be there, eh? He'll be there. <laughs> Ace, will you stop shaking them chips that way? I, uh, I knew you'd come, Gordon. Stop rattling them chips. Now, ease up, Gordon. I'm a gambler. I use chips in my business. Fooling around with these chips keeps my fingers limber. Makes it easier to deal cards or uh, to handle a gun. Well, uh, I don't like it. You shoved plenty of chips over the green board in my gambling joint, Gordon. Now, listen here. I ain't gonna release them two armies from jail. I can't. And perhaps I should ask you for the money you owe me. Huh? You love to gamble, Gordon, don't you? I wish I'd never picked up a pack of cards. You lose, but you always come back for more. All right. From now on, you play for cash only. No credit. And the first thing is to pay me the money you owe me. Now, look, Ace, suppose... Talking won't get you any place. I don't know what interest you got in them rattlesnakes, but I work for the railroad. Keeping that jail is my job. I can't let them out. That's enough, Gordon. Listen, Ace, I'll pay you. I'll pay you, but now? you Now? Huh? You pay me now? Well, I... I ain't got any dust right now. And next Then you can stop wasting time. Gordon, you're going to let Kirby and Buck out of your jail or you'll be in trouble. Plenty of trouble. Oh, it ain't straight. I can't... Pay me or get them out. I... You got me hogtied, ain't you? <laughs> At the end of a rope, Gordon. Letting them coyotes out of jail. It ain't right. Besides, they say, I'll know why I done it. They'll know it was me. They'll we'll let it... cover that part up for you, Gordon. Huh? We'll make it look as if you had nothing to do with it. But Kirby and Buck are breaking out of that jail. Hey, somebody coming. Careful, Daisy, you hit my hand. Somebody coming. We better vamoose. Uh, all right, this way. You get back to your calaboos, Gordon. But, we... but you ain't told me how you're going to work it, Ace. You'll get back and be ready. Just be there, Savvy. We'll work it. <laughs> not a campfire. I heard the horse. I got Silver and Circle away from the fire. I preferred to see who was coming first. What's the matter? You watch Gordon? Uh, him leave jail. Yes? Him go off in dark, talk to one man. Who was it? Uh, Tonto not know that. They speak low, but we find this. Uh, a poker chip. Uh. Gordon went back to the jail. That's right. Me come tell you, Kimosabe. And you don't know what they talked about? Uh. Come to learn nothing? You've learned plenty, Kimasabi. Enough to make me wonder about Kirby and Buck. Wheel him around. Come on, Silver. Uh, get him up, Scout. Where we go? We're heading back for the jail, Kimasabi. The sooner we get there, the better. Hello, Silver! Hawaii! I'll shoot. Oh. You sure clipped Gordon good. Bring those keys. Hurry, Buck, you'll have to hurry. Get this cell door open. That shot will bring the whole town. Hurry, out this way. What about Gordon? Leave him lay. Never mind, Gordon. Let's try This way, hurry. Hello. You heard that shot? That's right. It come from jail. Yep. The door's open. Inside came Asabi. Look. Yes, Gordon on the floor. And tell her, the cell door is open. Follow me. There was a shot. The door is open. Get in there, you old please. Get that boss man that hit you. They shot Gordon. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
How to continue our story. With the consent of the jailer, Ace Murdoch arranged the escape of the two gunmen. Then when the crowd of railroad men had filled the town, rushed to the jail, they found the Lone Ranger and Tonto inside. Hey, could be a book getaway. But these two gents ain't. Bring them over here. Making a mistake. You're the one who's made the mistake, Misty. Where's Kirby and Buck? Them get out. Yeah, and you done it. Gordon isn't hurt. He'll tell you we brought those men in here this evening. We don't swallow that, Misty. <laughs> Bring them in here and then get them free again. That don't get down. We didn't free them. We cut you here in the jail. Don't make no move for your guns, mass man. There's no enough of us here to shoot you down in your tracks. Well, why don't you go after Kirby and Buck? What free? I reckon you can tell us that. Hey, boys. Yeah. Hey, Brady, Gordon's coming, too. Hey, stand back. Leave him open his eyes. He's all right. You can tell us who's done this. Kimosabe. That woman. Quiet, out of wait. Mister, you can stop whispering to that redskin. Whatever you're figuring, ain't doing you no good. Feeling better, Gordon? Yeah. Feels like my head's been used for pounding railroad ties. Well, why not get him outside? He needs air. Yeah, I reckon I could use some. Clear the way there. Yeah, hey, get out of the way. Easy. Give me Yeah, I feel better now. My head ain't spinning so much. It was... Hey, what are you holding them two for? The mayor's man and the engine? Yeah, they ain't Gordon. got... Gordon. Huh? Them two's the fellas who let Kirby and Buck out of jail. What are you talking about, Daisy? You know very well... Gordon, they... use your head. They're the ones, aren't they? They're the ones. She heap local. Get ready, Tonto. I'm not crazy. Tell them, Gordon. They worked that jailbreak, didn't they? The masked man and the engine. Well, spill it, Gordon. First you stared Daisy, then you stared them two... You still dizzy? No, I, I'm just trying to remember you it. better remember right, Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, li like you say, Daisy. Well, sure, Brady, all you fellas are right. This masked man and the engine, they done it. They got Kirby and Buck out of jail. Gordon, you're not... I'm going... telling it straight. You done it. Yeah. Well, masked man, you're going into that cell. You and the redskin. You're going into right that... Right through, Tunnel, the horses. Get out! Get out! Get out! This way, Kim, Sammy. They're getting away! Don't use the gun, Tunnel. The crowd's too thick. Get back! This is... Children scout out random. We were lucky to get away. Uh, you helped, Tonto. We are friends, Tonto. And that jailer Gordon wasn't telling the truth. Did you notice how the woman made sure he said what she wanted him to say? Um, uh, me notice. We'll keep riding now, Tonto. Gordon and the woman are both mixed up in this. We'll ride now. We'll see Gordon later. We'll see him and ask him a few questions. <laughs> Notice that, Kirby? That was a supply train. Ah, look, Ace. How long are me and Buck going to stay holed up in this patch of cottonwood? Yeah, that's that enough. I asked you a question, Kirby. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. The it. supply train. Yeah, the supply train. Now, I want you we... and Buck to get acquainted with that train all the way. Well, we done that. Comes along always the same time. I want you to. Somebody coming. Yes. Two horses walking. Yes. Hold your gun, Buck. I got it. And let the hammer down, Buck. It's a daisy. I've run Gordon like you said, Ace. It's been two days. What delayed you? Well, there was a ruckus back to town. About... That's enough, Daisy. I was speaking to Gordon. Ace, you got to... Get be... off your pony and sit down. Well, he didn't want to come. Yeah, I can see that. Why'd you wait so long, Gordon? No one suspected you helped in that jailbreak. I didn't help none. You come in so fast and hit me on the head that well, I didn't have... to keep you from being suspected. The trouble was something else, Ace. You recollect, while well, you got Kirby and Buck away, I went back to have a look-see. Yes? The masked man and the engine was in the jail. They got caught there. Gordon stated they pulled the jailbreak? I didn't like it, but I had to. A man in your position has to do a lot of things he doesn't like, Gordon. They're in jail? No, they got away. Ah. We figured it best to wait until people got over being curious. Let it pass. Are the railroad men still using the mule train? Uh, no, they ain't. Come on, I don't have to drag this out of you. Speak up. Uh, yeah. Like you figured, Ace, they're using the train to bring blasting powder and stuff up. 
You figured it's smart. I play the percentage, Gordon. A smart gambler always does. There's more, Ace. Yes? The train tomorrow night is going to carry the pay as well as supplies. The payroll for the railroad. Now we got something. Well, that's nice. That's real nice. Kirby, that's another reason for getting that supply train. Ace, what do you got against the railroad? Gordon, I made a bet. Huh? According to the contract, that railroad has to get through to Sacramento in two more months. Otherwise, the builders lose their backing. I made a bet they wouldn't make it. You're doing this for a bet. I am. But great horn toads, that's... That's have to be murder. There's men in them trains. You'd kill them to win a bet? You forget betting's my business. You can't. That's you... enough, Gordon. Kirby, you and Buck will blow up that train tomorrow evening. Yeah, we savvy. Get the payroll cash. We'll split it. Yeah. You'll need powder for the job. Get my horse, Buck. Yeah, I get him. Ace... You're as cold-blooded as a Gila monster. You... I play the percentage, Gordon. Kirby, you'll need powder. I'm going back to town with Daisy and Gordon. You'll get the powder to us? In time to spare. Here's your horse, Ace. In the saddle, Gordon. Come along, Daisy. Yeah. We'll be waiting, Ace. Get that powder to us before sundown. Long before. Adios. 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 Murdoch, I... I like people to call me Ace. Get it? Ace. What are you coming back to town for? Daisy here could pack the blasting powder easy. You're coming back to keep your eye on me, ain't you? Ain't you? You know, Gordon, I am. Well, you don't have to. I tell That's you... That's enough. You've got a conscience about this thing, Gordon. Your trouble is you're too honest, and you've got a conscience. I can see the truth bubbling up in you. You're apt to break out with it any time now. Ace, I... I'm coming into town just to make sure. We'll pack that powder at the last minute, understand? It'll be too late for you to tell what you know. <laughs> You'll want to, but it'll be too late. to do. They've been going with that blast and powder a couple hours now. Oh, I don't know what to do. You know, Gordon, I ought to talk. I ought to. Hey, what's come over you? Muttering and mumbling? Let go of me, Brady. Let go. What in thunderation? I ain't holding you. You're still loco from that crack on the scalp. Get away. Get. All right, Bill. Go on, you get into your jail. See if I care if you don't speak to your old friend. Everybody hounding me. And fellas... Sure, they're my pards, and I'm selling them out. I'm selling them out, and I'm going to keep right on doing it. I can't... Where'd you come from? We've been waiting for you, Gordon. I, I figured you two was gone for good. We came back. Where's Kirby? Leave me be. Where is he? You know where. I, I tell you, I don't know. Take a look at this. Why should I take a... A, a poker chip? Yes, a poker chip. Ace Murdoch's poker chip. How'd you know? He has a habit of carrying them in his hand. It's a gambler's habit, Gordon. I'd have found this behind the railroad shack the night you talked to Ace. The I same don't... night Kirby and Buck broke jail. You tell. Where are they? I... All right, mister. I'm sick of being party to a crooked skin game. I owed that coyote money for gambling, but now I don't care. I don't care about nothing. Sure, I was in that jailbreak. I had to be. Him talk now. Never mind that, Gordon. Where are they? Mister, them and Ace and that girl of his, they're all out of two feathers pass. They're going to blow up the supply train. There's no way to stop them. The supply train? Yeah, that train goes through the pass a couple hours after sundown. And it's too late to stop now. It's too late. Perhaps not, Gordon. Huh? This way, Tunnel. Come on. Where are you going, mister? You're from Loco. We get horse. Mister, you're off the track. There ain't no way to catch those armies. Not before they wreck the train. Steady, Silver. <laughs> Gordon, listen to me. Steady, Scout. Tunnel and I will ride out there. We'll ride through town. You shout for the men. Huh? They'll see us and they'll come running. Form a posse and come after us. I don't savvy. What do you got your gun out for? We're going right through the center of town shooting. The men tried to catch us once before. This time, make sure they head for Two Feathers Pass. You run after us. Come on, Silver. Gordon, stop shouting. Get him up, Scum. Get him up. Hey! Now get in the way! Come on, running! Hey! What's going on? Oh, What's going on? Gordon, let's get down! It's the masked man! Get a posse! It's the masked man! The masked man and the engine! Get a posse! We'll get him this time! Get a posse! We're going after him! Come on, boy! Get a posse! Come on, boy! 
Hurry up with that blasting charge. The train's coming. We're working on it. Sure, you got the horses back out of the way, Ace. That locomotive scares them into a stampede. The horses are back. Daisy has them. Is the charge ready? A couple of shakes. Ace, Ace. What the? It's Daisy. What are you doing here? The horses Ace, are... Ace, lo- something's gone wrong. There's a couple of men riding this way faster than i ever seen horses go before. There they come. Herbie, we got to get out of here. If they start shooting at us, this here powder's apt to catch a bullet. It'll blow us to bits. Come on, Ace. We got to get to the horses. The blast isn't set. They'll be here any second. We ain't got time. Head for the horses. One moment. I've got an idea. We can get those two and blow up the train as well. And blow them up along with it. Ace, we gotta make tracks. Doggone your schemes. We ain't got time they to They haven't wait. started shooting yet, and I don't think they will. We'll head for our horses. We'll leave the powder here, understand? When we get near our horses, we'll start shooting. Yeah, shoot at them. And the powder. Now, Vamos, here they come. <coughs> Here's the spot, Tonto. Uh, they go up hill, Kimasabi. Never mind them. Let's get this blasting charge away from the track before the train gets here. Then shoot this way. I've got to get that powder. No. Then hit powder. You blow to bits. Tonto, there's no time. Shoot back at them. Ride up the hill toward them and scout. Keep them busy. How to keep them busy, but Tonto, stay here. That's it. That's it. Now, I can only throw this blasting powder over the far side of the track before one of those bullets hits it. Train, come fast. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Get back. Train, come fast. I've got it, Tonto. The train's safe. Now, let's go after them. We'll keep them busy till the posse gets here. Here's over here, boy. Shoot, Tonto, shoot. Keep them busy. Corner, mister? Tonto and I have them, Gordon. They're right below us in the hollow. Thanks, mister. I reckon we can take over for ourselves now. I didn't hear no powder blast. And we got the powder out in time. Mister, I want to thank you for setting me straight. I sure feel a heap better now that I'm on the right side again instead of playing along with them coyotes. I know you would, Gordon. And them stop shooting, Kimasabi. Hey, hey up there. We surrender. Come on, Tonto. We can leave now. Adios, Gordon. Adios, smash man. Adios. Can you hear us up there? We surrender. Up your shooting arms and come up the hill. We got you covered all the way. We sure are, and this time you ain't getting out. Here we are, we give up. There's no percentage in fighting a boss. We didn't have no time to get to our horses. That fellow with the mask and the engine kept us too busy. All right, Ace. You played your last trick. Yes. It looked like I overplayed it this time, sure enough. I guess I didn't figure on that mask man. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.